Hey, hey, it's your realtor friend Kristen here with a market update for the entire Charlotte region for the month of June 2021. If you pause the video, you can see in the upper right all of the counties that are included in the Charlotte region in North and South Carolina, but I'm not going to take the time to go through them all. I want to let you know that I'm so glad you're here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and the little bell so you get notified every time I post new content. But let's jump in. I know you're interested to see what's happening in the market. The first stat we're going to talk about are the new listings. These are the homes that came onto the market in June 2021. And that number we're looking at is 6,148, which is an increase of 12% over last year's number. So if you look down at the bottom right, you'll see the whole chart, the month by month breakdown of what's happening with the new listings. It's great to have fresh inventory on the market because as we've been saying for quite a while now, inventory is low. And when inventory is low and demand is high, we're seeing increased prices. So it would be a benefit to the market if we were to get more and more new listings. We are seeing this number trending up a little bit, so let's see what happens next month. The next stat I'm going to talk about today are pending sales. These are the properties that went under contract in the month of June, which was 5,653. That's a decrease of 2% over last year's. And you can see the whole breakdown here in the bottom right. Um, we're very close. The last few months have all been really close numbers. So we're kind of seeing a very steady um, increase, decrease back and forth, just looking month to month. The next that we're going to talk about are the closed sales. These are the homes that um, recorded that closed. We had 5,505 homes closed in June. That's an increase of 4.8% over last year. That's great. Um, again, we're seeing that number trending up over the last three months. We'll see what happens in July. Okay, the next one is list to close. So these, this is the number of days from the time a home hits the market until it closes. So it's covering that entire contract to close span of time as well as the, uh, the time that it's actively listed. And our average was 66 days in June. That's a decrease of 26.7% over last year. And really this trend has been going very consistently down. So you can see from last year, just a very consistent downward trend. Um, list to close is getting very, very fast. The lenders are on board, the appraisers are on board, and everyone's trying to get um, the contracts closed as quick as possible. The next one we're going to talk about is the average list price. So when you're listing your home, um, some people are, are uh, listing their home right on the market, right where it'll appraise, and then some are pricing lower than the market in anticipation of getting multiple offers and trying to get that bidding war going. And then some other sellers are maybe um, listing their home a little on the high side and then maybe not getting quite so many offers. Um, so the average list price is just saying where these homes were listed. And our average in the whole Charlotte region was 416939 which is a, a really big increase of 14.4% over last year. You can see this number is um, mostly trending upward for the most part um, to the 416939 we are now. And of course, that's what we expect to see when inventory is low. The next one we're going to talk about is the actual average sale price. So not the list price, but what it actually closed for. And our average in June was 406176 a staggering increase of 21.9% over last year's number. So you see it went up from $333,098 last year. That's a very huge increase in one year's time. Um, they say that on average, across the board, looking at long term, Real estate tends to increase about 4% 4 per, 4 a year. So you can see how much greater that is this time. All right. So let's talk now about the percent of original list price received. So if we're talking about a, a year ago in June 2020, we were actually seeing sales prices lower than the list price. So buyers were coming in and offering lower than list and winning the contracts. 
at about 97.6%. In June 2021, we're at 102%. That means homes are selling for 2% more than the list price on average. And actually, if, if you're seeing this market, um, you can sometimes see homes going for way higher and above the 2% difference from the list price. So keep in market, keep in market, <laughs> keep in mind that this number is talking about the entire Charlotte region, all those counties we showed on that first page. So um, you will want to really narrow this down if you're looking at a specific community or a specific city and see what the percent of original list price received is for that area because it's going to vary greatly. So just keep that in mind as you're looking for a home. All right, next is a, a number that um, you're not gonna be happy about, month supply of homes for sale. So if we look at this in June, 2021, we are down to 0 0.7 month supply of inventory. Um, and that is a decrease of 56.3% from last year. Last year, we had 1.6, 1.6 months of inventory. And honestly, this number has been going down for many years. The month supply of homes for sale has been going down consistently over many years, but it's gone down um, a greater amount just during this quarantine time. So keep in mind when inventory is low, and buyer demand is high because the um, the interest rates are low, then we're having that basic economy, supply and demand prices are going up. So that is a, a, a number to pay attention to if you are in the market to buy or sell a home. And um, that's all I have for you in our presentation today. But I do hope that you'll reach out if you have questions. My number is 330-301-0687. You can call me or text me or send me an email if you have questions. Or if you'd like a market report for your area, um, your city, your neighborhood, whatever, I can put something together and send it to you. I'd love to help. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye.